everybody, once again, we are here in luxury living and having a dinner. So Sylvia and Tim are gonna um, enjoy a little uh, evening uh, treat, which is, uh, what do we have tonight? We have chicken. Lemon chicken roasted. Lemon chicken roasted. Salad with tomatoes. Salad, tomato. and cucumbers, oh, lettuce. Cucumbers. Lettuce. And we have guacamole. It's a mixed greens. Guacamole, which is a specialty of Sylvia's. She makes really good guacamole. Christina loves it. I like it. It is good. I need some chips for that, though. We like guacamole some with nacho rice. chips. Sometimes we use bread. Do we have nacho chips? We do. Well, then I'll have to get some. And we also have a couple wines we're sampling, which we were pleasantly surprised while being somewhat pessimistic about the brand, and we'll explain that here in a minute. Um, other than that, we have a little bit of rice that's cooked, and the rice is a staple around here. We put it in the rice cooker and have it often, let's put it that way. So, what we're going to do tonight is we actually have two wines, and these are basic, basic. I mean, we're talking base, as in the bottom, basic. And the reason we kind of laugh at these is because in New York, at parties, at gallery openings, little um, events, behind that table with the little cups of wine that you go up to and you get your little cup of wine, it is, it is not usually the best wine. It's an okay wine just for walking around and sipping something. Do you know what it usually ends up being? It usually ends up being yellowtail. I don't know why. I actually know why. But it often is... You look behind the table and there's a case of yellowtail. Now she has a bit of a diversion against yellowtail. I have a diversion I inherited from her, not because I tried it and I didn't like it. So here's where I'm presently, present, presently and pleasantly surprised, is that yellowtail I saw the other day was on sale. I thought, okay, I will try. And that is a, a yellowtail blend. And now I'm thinking, because one time, one time years ago, Sylvia and I used to get up in New York City. We go out for a jog in the morning, just relax, have a coffee and a croissant, and some great bakery in Midtown Soho, East Side, West Side, anywhere we happen to be. <sighs> the life. And we walked into a wine shop in the Chelsea west lower side and it just was opening it's called maslow's it's a very nice wine shop i'm sure it's still there it's been about a few years so we walked inside and we thought you know can we try some wines talk about some wines one of the things that connoisseur of wine said was blends are often quite good and that didn't sit well with me because personally when i hear the word blend i'm like i don't like it i don't want it why would you mix a fantastic wine? But that's the difference. You can take a mediocre grape, mix a little bit of something special, and end up with something okay, maybe better than average. So I think that's what happened with the yellowtail, is that we actually ended up with something a little bit better than we expected. So, the blend for this, which by the way, this, Whenever I do this, I'm always hesitant. When I have to unscrew something, I think to myself, this is gonna be El Cheapo. Well, it is. It's a not magic always. wine. Not always. This one, it's by the way, $5 wine you has can get a cork. In your local grocery store. Yeah. This has a cork. So. This one's a Cabernet. This one is a smooth red blend. And by the way, Yellowtail. Winemakers are from Australia. Have you ever been to Australia? No. Do you have a desire to go to Australia? Neither mind. do I. I wouldn't so mind. The, I'd love to go. So the thing is, yeah, yeah, yeah. like when everything else is taken care of, we've gone everywhere. It's not on my... Antarctica, after Antarctica comes... It's not a priority, so but... Maybe to see the mind. Sydney Opera House. Thank you for your time and your neglected Pritzker Award. But anyway... The, I always, I always kind of hesitate when I see the cap. However, in some cases, I've found delicious wines behind that screw cap. And I'll tell you another nice thing about a screw cap. You know what's nice about a screw cap? If you ever take a break, go to the beach, go to the park, go anywhere, you will find 
that the screw cap is one of the most convenient things you can ever have. You open it, close it, throw it back in the picnic basket, and you've got yourself a great wine. Now, I'm gonna have to hurry this up. We're gonna test the wine out. Now, we have the red blend. Let's try. Cheese. Cheers. Listen to that. Mmm. Full-bodied, rich, smooth. A decent nose. Jammy, fruity. Long flavor. I would guess it has taste. a Shiraz There's in it. There's something in there a little more than normal. It doesn't really identify which grapes. Okay. Smooth and velvety, yes indeed. Actually, that's why we were Actually, somewhat Actually pretty good for $5. And it wore less because wow. it was on sale. Now, put that down. Not bad. This Palette is definitely cleanser. a good budget wine. Bread, anything, palate cleanser. That's right. All right, we're gonna we're gonna jump ship into an actual 2021 Cabernet. I almost fell over when she walked in the house with this one. She's an anti yellowtail. I've always avoided well, it because of her. I kind of associated it's, not with quality, but I'm surprised. Let's try the red blend. Was a real nice surprise. It was five dollars. The red blend, very good. Not bad. Okay, let's try, We're the, gonna try the Cabernet, Cabernet Sauvignon. This is, we haven't tasted this. We're going to try. Let's try. This is def, definitely did not. Well, this one's this, this better. This glass, glass is not this as good is as this. Okay. Good nose. Cabernet. It says Cabernet. Hold on. Hold that thought. Okay, let me try. See the smile on her face? It says everything. Nah, there's no smile. Okay, wait, it's coming. It's coming. This is a mild cover name. Mm -hmm. When you talk about depth, this one has depth and body and bold. This one is like wait, a which shallow one has pun. depth? Which one has depth? De the red the blend. blend. The blend. The has blend depth. is actually rich. Cabernet is. The cabernet is drinkable. a little bit next to this one. This is a medium body. Definitely the blend better. But the blend has more personality. Seriously. Okay. The blend has more personality. Let me try it with some chicken. We really should have a Chardonnay or a white with the chicken. The Cabernet is just a bit lighter version of this one. I mean, it's not that different, but... I think for $5, it's still a, it's not bad. I'm surprised. But it does not have that rich peppery Cabernet. Either our standards have gone down or the quality of this has gone up. <laughs> because we tried this in the past and we were like, forget it. That one, actually not bad. Which one? Not bad. Tim? Cabernet is okay. Cabernet, okay. I mean, so that's our. It's a mild Cabernet. Review. We have two here, and we're surprised one for this. I would have never bought that had it not been on sale. It's um, actually, it doesn't taste that much as a Cabernet to me. Yeah, there's something, that it, it's sort of a... Well, it's, it's, it could be because it's Australian. I've never had an Australian Cabernet Sauvignon. Keep in mind. I usually have California, so it does have love a California wine. It has a different flavor from the Cabernets that we're used to Excellent. in California. It's not as rich. Kind of mild flavor though. This one is definitely a, a, a more intense wine, the, the smooth red blend. Oh, cheese. Okay. But for five bucks, oh, wow. it's okay. Do this. I mean, there's some wines that can't I'm even trying swallow. So, I agree know, with what she's saying. Definitely. Take. Try this. For five dollars, it's try, definitely try, try. worth it. Get in your mouth. Smell that. Smell the cabernet. Changes the smell. You have a little cheese. Try the cabernet. Doesn't it have? Doesn't it? It doesn't have much of. To my opinion, it does not have, have much nose. Much of a nose there. I mean, and it it also this is much. this is most likely a steel barrel personality. Wine. It's this not. Oat. This is not. No. It's not anything like that. Definitely. So anyway, let's wrap this up. We are um, pleasantly surprised by the yellowtail red blend. Blend, we are smooth red blend. Accepting the Cabernet as Let me see a the bottle. 
value wine. Let's put it that way. It's a value of wine. It wouldn't. That's I wouldn't. Though, I wouldn't yeah. go out of my way to get this to serve others that in a in a dinner setting mocha. for an everyday extra bottle around the house to have a sip of wine. That's fine. Um, or when you're buying bulk for a, a, a gallery opening yeah. in Soho, fine. So it's fine. We're fine, right? Yeah, final, I mean, I think thoughts? for five dollars, it's yeah. it's it's not bad. Okay. I, I expected uh, something undrinkable, and it's definitely very drinkable. Very drinkable. So I think we should say quaffable because that sounds better. Quaffable. So, I mean, it it lacks the the rich cabernets of California, the complexity of flavor. It has real, barely any nose. I can't smell almost anything. What? This here. I oh yeah, let's see. It doesn't have much. It has, yeah, it has like it's a very, very mild. like a short stick smell. It's a very some, mild. Some have a deep, rich, like you just want to sit there and smell it. This a one's Cabernet sort of, from California. So it has a little really... flavor and a short smell, but it, it is a Cabernet. Yeah. That's why I always kind of like the blend, I think, now is like the one to go to. All right, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, the like button, help us out. We're trying to get up to about 500 subscribers. We can do that. We're doing good. And that's going to do it for tonight. And we are done with this video of uh, testing out two different wines. So live well and... And pray well. <laughs>